Good afternoon, you guys. I am just headed over to my friends Natalie and Chris's house as they just finished constructing a full-size garden suite in their backyard, and I thought it would be interesting to take a look at this project. So tenants are coming today to pick up the keys. First of all, I would just love to hear a little bit about what your experience was like from like the application process to now as to like how long it took to get the approval and how much time and money it kind of took it to get to this stage. Okay, so the, um, the application was pretty easy and straightforward as long as you make sure you read what they're looking for yeah. and they're very specific in your application to include everything they ask for. Yeah. Um, there were some revisions, so we had to go back and forth a couple times but I would say that it took maybe about two months from when we applied until we got approval. Yeah. Um, so what was the other question? <laughs> <laughs> so then once you got the approval, uh -huh. then how long it took from, I guess, the starting like breaking ground to becoming what it is now? So we broke ground in mid-May 2021. Yeah. It's now mid-March. Yeah. So that was 10 months. Um, it took us probably a little bit longer because our entire backyard was bedrock, so yeah. it took um, two or three months of just blasting and excavating alone before mm -hmm. we could even start building. Yeah. Yeah, so and that took longer. And this was like, from this is what, what you said was like, this is one of the biggest ones that the city had actually ever approved, do you think? Um, as far as we know, nobody, or at least at the point of when we were approved last year, yeah. nobody had yet built one with two levels. Okay. So our property is a little bit unique in that we have dual frontage yeah. um, and we're at least 6,000 square feet which allowed us to have, um, so a standard size uh, garden suite would be 400 square feet. We yeah. were allowed to have 600 square feet and then because we have quite a sloped backyard we were able to fit in a full basement while still having windows in all of the bedrooms in the basement. Um, and still meet the average grade requirement. So okay. it's a little bit complicated and I'm not going to try to explain how it went out, but somehow we were only allowed to do a basement. Amazing. So mm -hmm. the total square footage is? Uh, it's just under 1,200 square feet. So it's just under 600 square feet per level. Okay, and it's three bedrooms downstairs. Three bedrooms, yeah. one and a half bathrooms. One and a half bathrooms, awesome. Yeah, it looks, it looks great. And how much rent do you kind of anticipate getting on something like this? Are you comfortable talking about that? Because yeah, so we have already rented it out and we're going to be getting uh, just under $3,000 a month for it. Yeah, perfect. And approximately how much did it cost you to build? Yeah, so we definitely went over budget in the build, <laughs> especially because of all the blasting that had to happen. Yeah. It cost around 300000 Okay. Which was about a hundred thousand more than we had hoped. Yes. <laughs> but interest rates are so low right now that it still worked out in our favor. So perfect. So yeah, it looks great. Um, we wanted to make it seem really open and spacious, despite yeah. it being quite a small footprint. So that was kind of the reason for the high ceilings and the big tall windows and lots of windows, was just to make it not feel small and crowded. For sure, super bright in here. Awesome. Um, okay. Okay, so this is the open living area. Yeah. Um, we've got right over here, we have a nice natural gas fireplace. Beautiful. Lots of windows, open concept um, living and kitchen area. Yeah. So this is the kitchen. Beautiful. Really, really lovely. Nice. And then you've got one bath. In here is our bath. half bath. Okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, so in here we've got the laundry and dryer. We've got some extra storage. Perfect. Um, and then there's a toilet and vanity in there. Skylight. Skylight. And then hole right. for storage. Is this up here? Or? Yeah. So we just added an extra cubby up there for storage because it was going to be empty space and we didn't want to allow any space to go unused. Yeah. So it's a couple hundred thousand in value. Yeah. Um, and I would say that it's worth it. Um, just in the fact that it's going to make a huge difference as far as our month-to-month -month expenses. It's going to cover a good chunk of our mortgage. Yeah, to have the income coming in. And we, don't, yeah, and we don't plan on ever selling it, so 
our, our eventual plan is to rent out both houses and between the two houses we would be be very cash flow positive so um yeah i would say that it's definitely worth it Push it. 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 Push it.